With all that metal construction and the payload that they carry, airplanes seem too heavy to be able to take off and stay in the air for hours. And yet, they do. How? What makes an airplane fly? There are four main forces that act on an airplane. These forces are thrust, drag, lift, and weight. These aerodynamic forces interact with and hold the plane in the air, each pushing from a different direction. Thrust and drag are the two opposite forces that determine how fast a plane can go. Similarly, lift and weight work against each other, impacting the plane's ability to go up and down. The first of these four forces is thrust, which moves the aircraft in the direction of the motion. Thrust is created by the propeller of the jet engine, which pulls in air and pushes it out the rear, allowing a forward motion. Drag is the force that acts in the opposite of the direction of the motion, which slows the object down. It is generally caused by air friction and the differences in air pressure. For example, if you put your hand out of a moving car window, you would feel the air pull it back. Lift is the force that holds the plane in the air. The wings create most of the lift used by airplanes. This is actually the reason why planes have curved wings. The curved and tilted wings make the air above the wing move much faster than the air underneath. The fast moving air decreases the air pressure above the wing relative to the one below. The air in the high pressure area will want to travel to the area with lower pressure, resulting in an upward push on the wing lifting the whole plane up. The fourth force is the weight, which works in the opposite direction of the lift, pulling the plane down towards the surface of the earth. It is simply the force caused by the earth's gravity. A very simple way to think about these forces is to imagine of a tug of war. If one team pulls harder, then the other team will move towards them, and vice versa. We can apply the same principle to our four forces. In the tug of war of these four forces, the resulting net force would determine the speed and altitude of the plane. The next time you get a chance to fly, consider the forces that act on a plane, and ask the question, how do planes fly?